an article called Mind Business, which is on my web page. I was just saying at the break that um, somebody from Mind contacted me and said, uh, well, I don't disagree with what you wrote. It's really important people talk. I went, yes, I'm not talking about that. That's about how we're doing it. So, you know, this might contribute towards a lot more mental health problems. Right, so, intuitive and judgment. Who joined them up? Goethe's idea of eye of the mind, the Auger des Geistes, or the eye of the ghost, Greek concept that came from the word theoria, to see or behold from Plato's Theatetus. Um, the idea is deep in personal experience. This is what A.T. Still was doing with his hat over his head. <coughs> it didn't have to be over his head, but just, just to deepen that personal experience. So it's not you sensing the patient. It's you deepening the experience of the patient. It's the other direction. Attentive to the doing, not the done. We need to back off. Uh, Wittgenstein called this Ubershift, which is the overlooking, to back off the bird's eye view. Um, we want to be changed. We want to allow ourselves to be changed by the experience, but not passive, which is quite a feat. It takes time. It's not passive. You're allowing yourself, when walking through the woods at night, your, your, your awareness is really heightened. You heighten your awareness in yourself. You, you touch is a whole body phenomenon. It's not local. You don't feel with your hands. You perceive with your whole body. And that's what makes it, you get more information by doing that. We're saying that being attentive to your hands, you want to bring your whole body into it. This is just a contact point. Participate with, not at the patient. Pay attention to the experiencing, not the experience. It's you going through the experience, the experiencing. You want to catch yourself in the act before awareness of something. You don't want to get attached to the end of your fingers, if you know what I mean. Down that end. Consilience. Um, if you want to read one of the most wonderful writers on North American science in the 19th century, it's Laura Dasso Walls. Laura Dasso, A D A W S O W. I just read all her books. Laura Dasso Walls. She's um, from Lafayette University in America. Um, she has some great stuff on 19th century science by Henry David Thoreau. And it, you just see it, you just see osteopathy. Loads of it. So Laura, you look her up online, Laura Dasso Walls. Was William's term, so conciliate was Reverend William Rebold. Um, if you see him, he went to Cambridge University. This is like in, the, in this. 17th century, 18th century. They don't, they don't put the reverend before it. It just, said, it just says William Wewell, and I think, hang on a minute, this is reverend. So the religion's there again in science. The term for the process by which two or more previously separate streams of research merge to make a new transformed whole. So the context. Bring a new transformed, they both influence each other. Science could not be a sterile accumulation of facts, but had to be an animated by imagination. I think no one's come along and said, yeah, here it is. It's there, in black and white. So I'm supporting that. I'm totally agreeing with you, 100%.